few personalities in American politics have been as controversial and scrutinized as Donald Trump. Trump's public persona has been cautiously developed and widely appeared throughout his career as a real estate developer and as the 45th president of the United States. However, behind the scenes, away from the cameras and the public eye, lies a different story. Donald Trump has clearly been fascinated by the media since his rise to prominence as a businessman. After all, Trump made many movie cameos, enjoyed celebrity endorsements, and received positive feedback during interviews. In addition, Trump evidently enjoyed hosting The Apprentice for a long time. But there have been a number of really unfavorable rumors regarding Trump's behavior behind The Apprentice's scenes. With that in mind, it is fascinating to learn what a journalist said about what Trump was really like while filming The Apprentice. This video will disclose the details that a journalist claimed to have discovered concerning Donald Trump's actions on The Apprentice. Then, the video will look at how The Apprentice's creator, Mark Burnett, feels about Trump, according to the same journalist. Rising to power and difficulties. Before entering politics, Trump was best known as a real estate magnate and television celebrity. He took over the family business from his father, Fred Trump, and built it into a global brand. His name became synonymous with premium real estate thanks to high-profile projects like the Trump Tower in New York City. Trump's economic acumen was frequently highlighted on his reality television show, The Apprentice, where the catchphrase, you're fired, became famous. As I said earlier, much of Donald Trump's life was devoted to creating an empire in business. His brand was his name. As a result, his name may be found on opulent residences, casinos, golf courses, neckties, and more. Furthermore, Mr. Trump declared his intention to run for U.S. President in 2015. I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. Many were surprised when he defeated Hillary Clinton. However, in January 2017, Donald J. Trump became the 45th President of the United States. Trump supervised a strong economy while facing the challenge of a global pandemic. However, most of it was overshadowed and dominated by controversy. Allegations of collusion with Russia turned out to be false. In 2020, Donald Trump, who was standing for re-election, received more votes than in 2016, but fewer than Joe Biden. Donald Trump is the presumptive GOP nominee for 2024, and he comfortably defeated Republican opponents in the primary process. However, his main challenge has been dealing with the courts. Trump is embroiled in court battles in four jurisdictions at three levels of government, all of which are escalating during this election year. The power and influence. Donald Trump, as a former president of the United States, was most certainly the wealthiest person to ever live in the White House. However, his true net worth is uncertain. In 2015, Trump stated in a news release that he was worth more than $10 billion. In June 2024, the Bloomberg Billionaires Index estimated Trump's net worth at $7.7 .7 billion, up by $4.6 billion from the previous year, making him one of the 500 richest people in the world. Forbes magazine, which has been tracking Trump's wealth for decades, estimated it at $6.7 billion by June 2024. Overview. So, after a short intro about Donald Trump, want to know what was Donald Trump like behind the scenes at The Apprentice? And how did Mark Burnett handle their difficult relationship? Let's get started. Since his rise to prominence as a corporate leader and television personality, Donald Trump's behind-the-scenes behavior has caused curiosity. Trump, who enjoyed hosting The Apprentice, has been the target of various unfavorable rumors about his behavior on the show. Raman Satuta, a journalist who has covered Trump for years, revealed details about Trump's behind-the-scenes behavior during an appearance on The Citizen McCain with Meghan McCain. Satuta, who is promoting his book Apprentice in Wonderland, discussed what he learned from interviewing Trump and approximately 50 other people associated with The Apprentice. Satuta claimed that many people who worked with Trump on the show viewed him as friendly, charismatic, and involved even if they did not agree with him politically. Despite the good accounts, there have been claims of inappropriate behavior. Setuda's views provide a complex picture of Trump's behavior on The Apprentice. Some people characterized him as pleasant and charismatic, but others accused him of inappropriate behavior. 
These discoveries provide light on the dynamics that drive one of Reality TV's most recognizable characters. So let's take a big dive into this podcast. Donald Trump had a positive but complicated relationship behind the scenes of The Apprentice, according to a journalist. In June 2024, a journalist called Ramin Satuta appeared on the Citizen McCain with Meghan McCain podcast. Satuta, an extremely successful journalist, is the head editor of Variety, a highly regarded magazine. However, Meghan McCain stated to Satuta that they had a pre-existing friendship before beginning the interview. I don't think I would really necessarily have a career in media without Ramin, because he was my first boss when I was 20, when I worked in Newsweek magazine, and he taught me, like, everything, like, and we've just been friends ever since. It's so rare in the world to stay close friends in media and just in life in general, so I'm super proud of him. With this setting in mind, it's intriguing to see how McCain and Satuta's talk progressed. Despite McCain's contentious relationship with Donald Trump, Satuta gave a mainly positive picture of the former president. When he appeared on McCain's podcast, Satuta was promoting Apprentice in Wonderland, a book on Trump's time as a reality TV star. Satuta said during his podcast appearance that he had interviewed Trump multiple times. Satuta also revealed that he interviewed 40 to 50 The Apprentice contestants, as well as many people associated with the show. Satuta learned about Trump's personality behind the scenes of The Apprentice as a result of these interactions. Behind the scenes. While speaking with McCain, Satuta revealed that he had been told that Trump was very friendly behind the scenes at The Apprentice. Satuta also explained that some of the people who told him that didn't support Trump politically. In fact, Satuta claimed that some of them have spoken out against Trump's policies, even though many of them or some of them didn't support him for president. Even though they had political opinions, they said that when they were with him in the boardroom, on the show, he was charismatic, he was funny, he was welcoming, he was warm, he was magnetic. Situda went on to explain how Trump was far more involved with The Apprentice competitors than other reality show judges. Situda started off by describing Tyra Banks's personality behind the scenes of America's Next Top Model. When Tyra Banks was doing or is doing America's Next Top Model, she didn't really get that close to the contestants because most reality TV judges, they go in, they see the cameras, they leave. Subsequently, Satuta clarified that Trump takes his responsibility as a coach for the Apprentice competitors extremely seriously. But for Trump, this was his entire life. He got close to the contestants. He would try to mentor them. He'd write them letters of recommendation. He was very serious about this role that he had as a mentor. In May 2024, Deadline published a report regarding an alleged racist recording of Trump from his time hosting The Apprentice. According to Bill Pruitt, a former The Apprentice producer, Trump was caught saying a racist term while a black contender was about to win the show. Satuta discussed reports regarding the recording with Meghan McCain. Satuta said he did not find any proof that such a recording existed. Satuta also told McCain about the arguments that Trump gave for why people should believe that recording doesn't exist. I think that this is what Trump told me, and it makes sense. He said that if a tape existed, he thinks that by now it would have leaked. And the story about the circumstances of the tape have changed over the years and evolved, but no one's been able to track it down or find it. Mark Burnett also has told me that no tape exists. Setuda went on to explain how Trump suggested that followers should reject reports regarding the recording. And in Trump's telling of what happened to me as well, he says that he would have never even if he were to use the word, which he says he wouldn't have used, he would have never used it while he was miked. Even though Satuta gave a mainly good picture of Trump's personality while hosting The Apprentice, the situation was more complicated. Satuta reportedly told McCain that based on his interview, he thought Trump handled The Apprentice competitors inappropriately at times. I think the lines got blurred, and of course he was inappropriate. And there's stories in here where he tried to flirt with contestants or tried to get too close to contestants and made them uncomfortable and that was all very inappropriate. The Apprentice creator, Mark Burnett, isn't a Trump supporter, but he doesn't want to betray him according to a journalist. During Ramin Satuta's participation on the Citizen McCain with Meghan McCain podcast, he discussed The Apprentice's creator, Mark Burnett. During the interview, 
McCain questioned Satuta about allegations that Burnett was a Trump supporter who supported the former president. Satuta asserted to McCain that Burnett was in a difficult situation as a result of Donald Trump and The Apprentice. I think he's in a tough position because he doesn't want to be supporting Trump, but he also doesn't want Trump to feel like he's betraying him. From there, Satuta claimed that Burnett actually voted for Trump's former enemy and that he wasn't a conservative. From my reporting, Mark has told people in Hollywood that he actually voted for Hillary Clinton. He's not a secret conservative. He's a capitalist, and he wanted to make as much money as humanly possible. And Donald Trump helped make him. Donald Trump's behind-the-scenes behavior portrays a picture of a man driven by ego and ambition who can yet be unexpectedly nice. It reveals the complexities of a figure who has left an indelible mark on American history. A reminder that public personas are often just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to understanding influential leaders. As we continue to analyze Trump's legacy, these insider accounts provide important context for understanding his actions and decisions. They remind us that behind every headline is a human being with strengths, flaws, and contradictions, a reality that holds true for all individuals who step into the spotlight. Finally, despite these controversies, Trump's influence in the Republican Party remains strong. He has remained an active political figure after his presidency, hinting at possible future campaigns for politics while maintaining a loyal base of supporters. The legacy of Donald Trump is complex and diverse. To some, he is a champion of populist causes who disrupted a complacent political establishment. To others, he represents a divisive force who challenged democratic norms and institutions. Regardless of the point of view, there is no doubt that Donald Trump has been one of the most influential personalities in recent American history. So, what are your thoughts about today's video? Don't forget to leave all of them in the comments section below.